how do I know if a piece of glass is fire rated? In the past, it would have been as simple as looking at a piece of glass, noticing a wire mesh, or perhaps an amber hue or distortion on the surface of the glass to know that it was wire or ceramic, and odds are that would have been fire rated. But with the advancements made today with the clear, wireless, filmless products like SuperClear, it's not so easy to distinguish non-rated from fire rated. However, the IBC requires that every fire rated manufacturer provide a permanent label affixed to the surface of the glass of its fire rated products. Simply by checking the lower right or left hand corner of a glass product, we'll communicate a level of performance associated with that product. The 2012 iteration of the IBC developed a marking system to communicate a level of performance or the test standards to which each fire rated product is tested. The W indicates that a product is tested in accordance with ASTM E119, the wall standard. OH indicates that a product's been tested to UL9 or NFPA 257, a fire protected opening with hose stream. D identifies a product that's been tested to NFPA 252 or UL10C, the door standard. It could be accompanied by a T, which would indicate that that product meets Temperai standards. These markings are also accompanied by a numeric value. This is the duration rating of the product. Most products are tested from 20 up to 180 minutes. So again, just to summarize, any fire rated product is required by code to have a permanently affixed label on the surface of the glass. It will give you information as to the product's duration rating, test standard, and performance levels. If you don't see a label affixed to a piece of glass, odds are it's not fire rated. You may see a label or what we call a glass bug on the surface of a product. However, if it doesn't have a duration rating, if it doesn't have a test standard, if it doesn't indicate what level of performance it reaches, then it is not tested and listed fire rated assembly.